Welcome back. We're doing a 135th scale tank by Tamiya. Have we done Tamiya before? Don't know. I don't watch my own channel, do I? It's like I don't know my own phone number. I think it's an old model and I've had it for a long time. I've been meaning to do it. I seem to remember it being around for ages. Um, and I have had this around for ages, for years, literally. And I keep putting it away and losing it and then things like the box lid comes off and things fall out and I've lost whole racks of sprue with bits on and the instructions went missing once so this one has been incredibly delayed and then subsequent to that when I started doing it and filming it this is one where the computer stole some of the shots it's the early shots that have gone missing um, but we'll survive that there is something I have to add about Tamiya um, particularly their instructions not only are they clear and all of that kind of thing but you get a virtual booklet on the model in question. Look at that, that is almost precisely a whole page. Plus a few photographs, which are always welcome, and some rather nice illustrations of different and relevant tanks, relevant to the text that is. That's alright, can't argue with that. It seems like a, an interesting enough tank. It's a good, very interesting shape. You can see the influence of the T-34 on it. And it is a post-Second World War tank. So that makes a change for me. Um, it's probably the kind of thing I remember from my childhood. It's all very Cold War and Korea and Vietnam and that kind of stuff. Uh, the instructions give some interesting bits of information too. Um, first of all, when the Second World War ended and the Cold War opened the Americans didn't have any tank sort of sufficient to deal with the T-34 so they seem to have rushed this one into operation um, without putting it through all the real trials and it says here um, it was at the development stage and was shipped immediately to the battlefield directly from the production line even before a test run. So that's the Korean War. The next interesting thing is the Korean War broke out in 1950 so obviously it's rushed out around about 1950-51 but the last few lines on the instructions says it is expected that the new M551 tank will eventually supersede the M41, that's this one, in large numbers in actual use as it has many superior qual capabilities compared to the M41. So at this point when this was printed and issued, this tank, the Bulldog, is still in use. Which means this must be from the mid-60s. I've looked for a date, I can't find one. It's probably in Japanese, or it's probably on the sprue, which I've thrown away. Right. Enough of the chat, let's get on with making the model. We've missed the very first bits, which is basically just putting lots of little fiddly bits on the turret and a couple of bits on the hull. And then you're almost done, because it's a really simple model. I enjoy doing a good tank, but the wheels can be very boring. Thankfully, this one hasn't actually got too many. You can see from the sort of axle stalks there so yeah this is you know an improvement on many I'm just thinking of the Panzer 3 and Panzer 4 at this point just a quick look there will be some weathering that kind of stuff added on mind you probably worse than wheels the little loops of which there are four that go into slots and then there are little dimples there that take, where are they? Excuse me, I had a sneezing fit. Anyway, I, as I was saying, little handles. They're bound to snap and then the glue won't hold them on for long. Never mind. So far so good, as I often say. Uh, wheels are on and slightly dusted with a little bit of um, weathering and oh, there's my hand and what else? Oh, a little bit of weathering on the 
the main body and the turret. Not too much, I just want it to look a bit dusty, that's all. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, there we go. So whatever I was on about, there's some of it. Let's face it, we're nearly done. Um, I do want to keep the weathering down to sort of dusting and a little bit of mud on the wheels and the tracks. And I want the turret to be a little bit less mucky than everything else. But apart from that, we're nearly there really, aren't we? It kind of looks finished, uh, but it isn't. It's a cold and chilly morning. I can hear the sheep barring and jets flying overhead. And the reason I've come out here is because it's such a miserable morning. There's no light whatsoever and I want to get on. I've put the tracks on. That's the main thing. Meanwhile, some days later, it's a lovely day today, and for a change the light is brilliant. But now I've stepped out the door, the wind has got up. Never mind. What I want to talk about are the shades of green. Uh, I want the tank to look dusty, as I probably said, but I just want it to look a little dusty. So what I've done is actually paint the body with a spray um, which is a very dull olive green but gradually added a stronger green over the turret so that the turret looks a lot cleaner than the body it means I haven't actually had to do a lot of weathering I've just taken out some of the little spots as well which were on the turret which were a bit too much um, and I think it's working quite nicely Transfers are on now. Um, they only give you two stars. One for one side of the turret and another for the front of the hull. Does that mean that's how it was or is there some mistake? I don't know. I was going to have a look on the internet but I just didn't. You may have noticed the turret is dustier than it was previously. Particularly after I'd gone into how I was going to paint it greenier and all of that kind of thing. Well because I've got the transfers on I thought I'll give it a little coating of matte varnish just to help the um, transfers stay on and first of all that failed but secondly the matte varnish seems to have covered it in some kind of dusty substance here's the culprit in a weird way it works though doesn't it so we'll leave it and we won't worry about it so that's it done and I think it's quite good in fact, I'm starting to think I'm better at tanks than aircraft. Oh, well, we'll see. Oh, yeah, I need to glue the top of the hull onto the bottom half. 